Excel tutorial. In my last tutorial, I showed you how to create the Windows 7 recovery disk. Now, one of the main uses of it is to recover the Windows 7 bootloader so that you can boot into Windows 7 again. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Windows 7 recovery disk to recover your Windows 7 bootloader so that you can boot into Windows 7 again. Now, you might come up with this problem when you're going to do a boot. Uh, when you install Windows XP along with Windows 7 or any other operating system, uh, you might not get the option to boot into Windows 7 and you will boot into your newly installed operating system instead. So what this tutorial should tell you is how to recover the bootloader and how to boot into Windows 7 again and then you're going to use a third party software uh, called EasyBCD to add the option to boot either Windows 7 or the other operating system. And if you want to watch that video, it should pop up on your screen right now. All you have to do is just click it. And if you have not seen the video on how to create a Windows 7 recovery disk, that pop-up should appear on your video right now as well. Okay, so, uh, what now? Well, I booted up from the Windows 7 recovery disk, and at first, if you're using it for the first time, you should get a list of partitions. Actually, at first it's going to scan your computer for any Windows 7 partitions. It's going to specifically search for any Windows 7 partitions. It won't scan for any others. And if it finds your partition, you're going to click it and click next. So you can already see, I already selected it. Windows 7 Ultimate. Now this recovered um, option was a long time ago on local disk C. Now what you're going to click is Command Prompt. Yes, we're going to be messing with Command Prompt for a while, but this should be very, very easy. So, first off, we're going to type boot rec. Now you should get a couple of options. What we're going to be messing with today is the first, second, and the fourth option. So all you have to do is just basically type boot rec and then fix nbr, which is you know, the first one that you see right here. Type that. Okay. And the operation completed successfully. Next one. Boot reg slash fix boot. It should take a bit. Operation completed successfully. Now for the next option. Boot reg slash rebuild bcd. Now I'm not pressing enter for this one because my bootloader is already working perfectly so there's no point typing this in. But this is an important step. This option will basically, um, how do I say this, reset your whole BCD configuration, meaning that it's going to reset or clear the whole list in your Windows 7 bootloader. Now your bootloader is already recovered, but what Rebuild BCD should do is should clear the whole list. Now you have to make a new list on your own. Now that's what we're going to use with the easy BCD software. Just check out that video. And, uh, well, this is if you have dual booting. Otherwise, fix NBR and fix boot should be fine. But if you have dual booted with Windows XP or any other operating system, then I suggest you type in this option as well. Otherwise, if you're just trying to recover the bootloader or if you want to boot into Windows 7 again, then the first two options which I just typed is enough, okay? So I'm not going to press enter for that. And now what we need to do now, if you have pressed enter on, uh, the rebuild BCD option, then you have one more step to do. So, next up, we're going to type disk part. Now, this is kind of like a software in MS DOS, which is kind of like partitioning using MS DOS itself. So, uh, once disk part starts, we're going to type list drives. And what this should, sorry, type the wrong list drive uh, disk. My bad. List disk, by the way. Now what you should do is should list your total hard drives in your computer. So disk 0 is my computer's hard drive. 298 gigabytes. How much is free? This is wrong. This is really wrong right now. Disk 1 is my external hard drive, which is supposed to be 160 gigabytes, but it's 149. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to select on your hard drive which has Windows 7 in it. So that's obviously disk 0. So select this 0 and that should be selected. Now what you're going to do is list the partitions in that disk. So list partition. So of course there are two partitions. One is the recovery partition and the other 
is your Windows 7 partition, partition which is partition 2, which is 285 gigabytes. So, uh, partition 2, so now select partition 2. So partition 2 is now the selected partition. And you're going to type in active, I believe. So once you type active, this part, mark the current partition as active. Now, what did I just do? So what you just did, you selected your hard drive. Of course, you know which hard drive it is. Then you selected your Windows 7 partition, which is partition 2, as it's listed over here. And then, what did I do in the active part? Well, when you type active, when you reboot your computer, it should boot into partition 2, which is your Windows 7 partition. So it has marked it as active, which means the next time you reboot, it should boot into this partition itself. So now what you're gonna do, well, you're done. So exit. <laughs> we can just close from there. So now what you just did is you marked the Windows 7 partition to boot right now. So if I restart my computer and exit, let me just take the recovery disk out right now. Okay. So, yeah, it's not covering the whole screen, unfortunately. And then you finally should be able to boot into Windows again. So that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did want to subscribe for more, hope this works for you. Um, again, after that, if you have typed that rebuild BCD option, it's going to clear your whole bootloader uh, options and you will have to manually do it in Windows itself. So make sure that you download the program ECBCD and get it configured. If you don't know how to use it, Check out uh, my video which will pop up again now. Okay, so that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you didn't want to subscribe for more, so thanks for watching and have a great day.